What is good YouTube? What's you here with a video in the comic book movie world? So if you're new to the channel, we do Marvel, DC and pop culture based videos, including video games all week long. If that's the kind of channel you want, make sure to subscribe and also check out washedu.com at the 100,000 subscriber mark. If we ever get there, I will be giving away a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X with obviously Spider-Man PS4, Game of the Year Edition or Gears of War 5, maybe Game of the Award Edition if they get it this year, potentially. If not, I will be giving away a PS5 or an Xbox One X Zinfandel if it takes me that long. But we recently hit 75,000 subscribers, which is pretty damn awesome. So I'm going to be traveling over the next eight days or so to the 20-ish of October. So the video schedule is going to be a bit less, but I'm still going to be uploading daily. It's just as timing will be a bit different. So thank you very much for spending a few moments of your day with me and make sure to grab that subscribe button before we get into today's video. So the daily news with Spider-Man and Venom 2 seems to be coming daily at the moment. So I wasn't going to cover this story because quite frankly, guys, everyone watching this video should have already known this because I've said this multiple times. So Venom 2 is starting to shoot in a London city. London isn't a town. I don't really get why people say London town when London city. Starting to shoot in London next month. So there is this leak that's come out, which I've been speaking to some insiders on Twitter. And what is interesting is a Bulgarian film distributor confirms Venom 2 official release date in capital locks. Now, I don't really get why I just said that, because like I said, guys, it's coming out on the 2nd of October 2020 and some people in the comment section of the video the other day were questioning whether Venom 2 could come out next year if they're only starting to shoot Venom 2 in October and I explained there's a turnaround time like three to five months for shooting it then two to four months editing it so it could quite easily come out 11 months after they first start to shoot it so according to this leak i don't really know if i should call it a leak is venom 2 will be coming out on the 2nd of october 2020 which is really interesting because that is really close to the release date of the venom 1 movie that came out that did really well it nearly beat spider-man homecoming at the box office so the release date for the first movie was October the 1st, 2018 and October the 5th, 2018 America. So it's very close to the original release date. But what's interesting about that movie is it grossed over $600 million mainly due to a massive China box office opening weekend. Without China, Venom 1 wouldn't have been so successful everyone knows that so what is interesting is without tom holland spider-man or without any variation of spider-man it got close to a billion 600 million dollars 700 million dollars it's very close to a billion so the fact that they've literally confirmed that spider-man tom holland or at least peter parker will be appearing in some capacity in venom 2 is surely quite frankly going to boost the revenue for this movie because they've literally said in a new contract Kevin Feige said it that he is the only superhero in the cinematic universe that can cross multiverses and can cross into different cinematic universes meaning Spider-Man could appear in this movie we know it's going to have Carnage as the main villain apparently his girlfriend's going to appear she's technically a mutant in a way which is interesting because you know Marvel Disney owns the mutant characters but because Carnage's girlfriend first appeared in a Spidey movie there isn't really much contractually they can do to stop this character appearing in the movie so for the Venom 2 part of this video that's the news over it doesn't really confirm anything because like I said I spoke to some insiders and everyone has known this for such a long time that it's coming out in October we know that Morbius is already coming out next year which is gonna be pretty sick for some reason people don't really want to get on board with Morbius I don't really know why it sounds pretty cool that comes out July the 31st 2020 so Sony themselves have two movies next year which is pretty cool Venom 2 and Morbius and in 2021 they have Spider-Man 3 
Although I guarantee some people in the comment section will say Spider-Man 3 is an MCU movie, but Spider-Man is a Sony character, so realistically it's an MCU Sony-verse movie. And as Tyrese Gibson confirmed to his friend that his character, he's basically going to be an FBI agent chasing down Morbius, has a role inside the MCU, so you could argue that technically Morbius and Venom 2 have some connection to the MCU, and they're just going to be building the greater spider universe throughout the mcu and also the sonyverse so i wanted to add this because it's quite an interesting story and for some reason people don't know the release date even though if you google the release date for venom 2 it literally tells you what it is but i seen it on reddit and found it was interesting so also in the news so vin diesel who already voices a character in the mcu is being rumored to be black bolt now, I wasn't going to cover this because I said, uh, like I said before, guys, I'm trying to cover stories for more reputable websites. So, NBE.com is reporting a new version of the troubled series with Vin Diesel as Black Bolt is reportedly in the works. The actor is reportedly involved with a plan to reboot the previously binned in humans movie now if you played the latest switch game which is called marvel ultimate alliance 3 you would know exactly who black bolt is so in the comics and in the video game black bolt is the king of the inhumans black bolt is cursed and blessed with sonic voice he must remain forever silent for with the silence whispers he can destroy cities and with the loudest screams he can level continents so it's pretty insane and we know that kevin feige has been talking about introducing the inhumans now the reason i'm covering this story is because the actual source is the geeks worldwide and they are a very reputable source in my opinion so they are saying the inhumans is being rebooted and marvel are looking to vin diesel to play the main role of black bolt in their first appearance as a role in the Miss Marvel TV series. It also goes on to say this. Alongside Vin Diesel, the report states the producers are looking at Aaron Tyler Johnson to play the role of Maximus Black Bolt's brother. Now this does sound pretty interesting. Now as you know, Vin Diesel is also set to star in the delayed Fast and Furious 9 series, which has a final release date for 2020 May. Everywhere Marvel could be looking at an all-female movie in the MCU after Brie Larson revealed that a lot of Marvel actresses have expressed interest in an all-female movie. Thor, director Taika Waititi, meanwhile, in the latest big film name to kick back against Martin I can't pronounce his last name. Recent comments about Marvel films are not cinema, saying, of course, it's cinema, it's a movie, which is pretty funny. So the Black Bolt news is pretty interesting because, as you know, Gemma Chang was in the Captain Marvel movie. Then they put it into a different movie. And also, generally, in the past, Marvel do not like one character playing another character. As we know, Gemma Chang was in the Captain Marvel movie, and now she's going to be in the Eternals movie, which is technically set hundreds of thousands of years before the Captain Marvel movie. So is it going to be canon? Because that would be quite confusing if her role in the Captain Marvel movie still stands, but she's one of the Eternals, which is kind of confusing. But it generally means that Marvel do not care now if an actor has played a previous role in the MCU. They can now play different roles in the MCU which is kind of bad, but it's also kind of good. So it is interesting that they are looking to build the Inhumans after the scrap Inhuman storyline. Me, myself, I don't know too much about the Inhumans, but I played Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, and there's a big section for the Inhumans there, so it would be a pretty cool feel to bring to the MCU. We know they've wanted to bring the Inhumans to the MCU for such a long time. So there's been a lot of reports and rumors this week, but we're only covering the ones that I think are viable. So Black Bolt coming to the MCU, the Inhumans, and there's so much more information. As we said in yesterday's video, Deadpool 3 is scheduled to come out sometime in the future, but for some reason, some websites are saying it's gonna be 2022. I mean, I guess you could say that, but if you wanna watch yesterday's video, I'll go over it in more detail there. Ant-Man 3 news, that's currently in 
production, but it could shoot in 2021 from a variable, reliable source, Charles Murphy. Very reliable. But going forward, guys, I will only report stories that are interesting and that come from reputable websites that I have verified. I verified all the information in this video, so I'm pretty confident most of this information in this video is actually true guys so like always please like subscribe and comment i've got a mega video coming out on monday about the crisis on infinite earth storyline which is going to be sick obviously the titans are involved lucifer kind of controversy drama is it real isn't it real i will be covering crisis on infinite earth massively on this channel because over the weekend the actor himself who plays lucifer denied the whole movie role even though Literally, some people have seen the script and seen him on set, etc. So it literally makes no sense. But we're going to go over that in a mega video on Monday as I'm flying back to my hometown today. So I'm going to post that video tomorrow as it will be quite a lengthy one. But I thought I'd go over it and I validated all the sources for that video. So it's not like you know, saying confirmed without anything actually being factually confirmed. We're not gonna say finally confirmed or really, really confirmed or it is confirmed. The information is actually true, what we're gonna talk about in this video. As a lot of you guys know, the channel started with our reverse stuff. So we're gonna get back to our roots. I haven't posted the episode review for Flash episode two because I've not watched it yet, but I will skip episode two and just go straight to episode three when it comes out this week. So like always guys, please like, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in another video very soon. Make sure to check out warstu.com and my Instagram at warstu and follow me on Twitter at wwarstu. It's the easiest way to get in touch with me. Also, there is the Facebook page, warstu. And then there's a group, DC Marvel group, Wall Street. Just type Wall Street on Facebook and you'll see all these stuff. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.